Hi, my name is Marco. I'm the textile business director in Mtex. Uh, I'm here today for the presentation of the new Mtex uh, wash Leo, uh, together with George, all, with all the responsibility for the production in Mtex, and also Lionel, uh, the man for the R&D on this kind of products, and also uh, for all his experience and years in this uh, industry. So, George, um, at this moment we are in our new Mtex uh, wash Leo. Uh, from what I saw, this equipment, we can, uh, we can start with a roll or we can start with a drive, we already understand all, all of this. But most important things that we need to, uh, to show uh, to our customers and to everyone that is in the moment to buy uh, such a equipment as this one, uh, tell us we are able to do what with this machine? We are able to do knitted, woven, uh, we are able to wash acid, reactive, pigment or dispersed, whatever the customer wants to, to do because it's it's what they ask, it's what they ask us normally in the field. This is a full terrain machine because you can do uh, whatever fabric you choose since we have uh, independent on each uh, washing tank, we have sensors and we have dancing bars that control the pressure and that adjust the velocity of each motor and in this way we can transport fabric without stretching or making it too loose and we keep it even, selecting either knitted or, or woven. So each tank and uh, all, all system, all transport system, we are able to slow it down, to move tension, to give more tension depending if we are talking in a normal about way, In a normal fabrics. way, the machine does, does all that automatically. Of course that the operator has the, the possibility to adjust it if he wishes, but Usually, it will just leave it on auto mode, and the machine makes all those adjustments and corrections depending on the stretchness of the fabric that it's washing. So we have uh, we have five tanks. One of them uh, is uh, like a double tank because it's the hot water one. Yeah. Uh, from the start, we have normally uh, we can choose whatever we want, but normally we have cold waters, hot waters, cold with. Uh, soap or with the softener and one cleaning and in the end the softening and the hot water tank with double systems and uh, that you can select uh, upon the, the, the choose of this machine you can say to, to if you wish to use the infrareds to heat it up or if you wish you can to even use, use the steam the uh, steam of the company or feed the machine with hot water depending on exactly, the, 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 the company. Exactly, because we also have the double system that you can select cold water in or hot water in. So I also see in the, in the tanks that you have sprinkles, all, of, all tanks have sprinkles, all tanks have let's say a movement of fabric to allow the ink to come out uh, easy. Uh, we have uh, rolls to spread, uh, to spread the fabric as, uh, as much as possible. We have tension bars. So each tank have this uh, own control system. All of them have this uh, different options, loading for knitted and woven. You can uh, select each tank and you can operate each tank individually or you can preset it all save it and with the click of a button you can start the entire machine. All this system from what I see you are able to operate it remotely, you are able to operate it from a normal Any bed. Any system that has iOS or Android you can install the app and you can control it as if you were there. Looks a gadget but uh, today yeah. is very important the machine is long, you good. have uh, different uh, systems, different uh, uh, pumps to operate uh, water, you have pressure, you have drying, so it's always easy yeah. to have you can be a simple thing. the other thing. far end of the machine watching the drying unit or watching the output of the drying unit and you need to adjust the temperature or the speed or whatever you want to do it, you can do it anywhere. Okay, so each tank, uh, an easy explanation, we have entry, we have first tank, we have a squeezing system yes. by pressure. Uh, Third tank with hot water plus squeezing. Fourth tank with clean water and squeezing. Fifth tank with softener and squeezing. And the uh, and and exit. After that, from what I see over here, you have the drying system. Uh, the drying system is full synchronized with the printer. You don't. You can select again. Everything in this machine is. is 
uh, is adjustable by the operator as you can see that you can select synchronize with the movement of the washing or the operator can adjust the speed and make it faster or slower depending. Okay, so they are independent. You can, uh, you, you can wash faster and dry slower because you have an accumulator in the middle. Correct. Uh, that gives you a buffer uh, depending Between if you are... So after this, we guarantee that the fabric is completely dry and ready to be used or to be processed in another, in another machine. Okay, very important that we are not uh, able to, to see it from the video, but we also have all the, um, all the control system for the water. Uh, from what I understand, all this water can be reused, can be transferred between tanks, uh, can be filtered and can be also had a soap and you also can add the softer. Yes. Uh, just a quick we explanation have, uh, about the system. We have chemical delivery um, on each tank and you can select which tank you want to input the chemicals and what ratio you want to You can do it in any tank, in any, any tank. way you want. You can want. just say I want 5 liters of chemical A or B because we have two sub tanks of chemicals and you can say I want chemical A on tank 2 and I want 5 liters and you can just inject 5 liters of chemical here and then you say I want to add plus 30 or 40 or 50 liters of clean water and dissolve it all in this specific tank so you transfer water or you add water depending the fabric, depending the contamination, Correct. depending if you need uh, fresh water in each tank or depending, transfer it between Depending tanks. also on the fabric itself, you, can, you, you, you may and you will certainly have the need to adjust the chemical uh, aggressiveness depending on this fabric that you okay. are using. About filtration, it's very important this for the customers and they always want to know what is the, the capacity that you have uh, inside the, the washing unit. It's, it's a washing unit so always you have a lot of water in. Um, what can we offer to the customer to filter this water? We have on each tank uh, that we have a pump associated. By each pump we have a huge stainless steel filter that has an alarm system and determines if the pump are uh, injecting enough water or not. If the filter starts to get contaminated, we don't have so blocked. much. Yeah, the, the pump, the pump gets blocked. We don't have the necessary water to wash correctly. So you have an alarm system to the control panel or your remote uh, device, control, yeah. uh, and indicates the operator, please clean filter number X. It's a normal filter. It's a normal, normal consumable that you that you use it. And it's very easy to re-clean yes. it and uh, take the, the, the filter out, just a simple locking screw that you have, release the lock, take the filter, clean it, install it reuse again, it. And that's it. All of this without stopping the entire machine, of course, you stop just that individual. And tank. it's an operation that takes you five minutes also. It's it's, it's nothing that will yes. that will impede you to, to continue working. The same thing in the in the device that you also had on the machine that is heading the soap and the, and, the, and the softener. Uh, you can use this system as a full automatic uh, recipe uh, and the customers can, uh, can, they can take, save they it. can save it and they can reuse this recipe in the future. You can create all kinds of presets by transport, speeds, temperatures, all of these parameters that you are setting up to use on that specific fabric, you can save it, give it a name, and then you can just simply select, I want to use this preset and the, the machine gets fully customized by uh, clicking the button. Very important, just to, to, to finish uh, this uh, small presentation, we have also available a bigger presentation with subtitles uh, that goes more in detail uh, uh, for the all parts of the machine. But uh, just to finish the presentation, um, what is the output of this machine? What can we wash and uh, how many linear meters we can wash maximum, per hour? Maximum velocity of this machine is 200 linear meters per hour. Uh, a normal job, of course, it all depends on the on the kind thickness, of fabric, the printing, of your fabric, your profile. And if it's printing. acid, if it's uh, reactive, depends it's on a lot of factors. Practice. But in, uh, a normal operation will, will work around between 
100 to 150 linear meters per hour. That one we can guarantee that we can wash 90% of all fabrics right. and it doesn't matter what kind of application right. or ink uh, and even can go faster if we have an easy if you have an easy job or a simple color or a, a, simple fabric, or a thin yeah. fabric, you can use and uh, uh, take the best of the maximum velocity of this machine. Thank you very much Thank you for the presentation and uh, again we have a full presentation on the web.